Okay, hi there. We're back for clue two on our spring mystery quilt. And this one we're doing like a folded corner. What I call a folded corner is a square on top of our rectangle here. We're gonna sew diagonally, flip it back, and we get that unit there. So to me, that's called a folded corner. But there's so many ways of doing this that I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite ways. Um, one of them is to draw the line. It's not my favorite way, but that's the most easy for everyone to, to try to do. So you're just taking a ruler and you're going to go from corner to corner and your background squares, these are two and a half inch background squares, on the wrong side of the squares, you're gonna draw a line with a pencil. We're gonna sew on that line and then trim away a quarter of an inch when we're done and fold, press the piece back. There's another way of doing it though. This is another one of my favorite tools, the folded corner trimmer. And this is really just a wonderful tool. There's so many things that you can do with it and Creative Grid has got wonderful uh, video, YouTube video out on how to use it on all different ways. But this one is you can take this and lay this just like that, just like the angle that we have in the picture. I've got it right here. See the angle's right there. Then you would take and you would cut this just like this and then you would just sew your seam. So you don't have to have that line drawn, but you would just sew a quarter inch seam. There's another way of doing it also, and that is to take and place your square right on top of here. Pretend that the line is not there and then you would just take and put your presser foot down and you would take and sew right on that line, lining up so you have a piece of tape right in front of your needle, and then you would just line that up right on that line there and just sew that, and so there you go. You don't have to have, draw the lines if you do it that method. This is another new way that we're using the folded corner trimmer, and I'll show you that one also in clue three. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you know that you're also going to be doing that same thing to your main print. These are the two and a half by four and a half inch pieces. And uh, you only do 13 of accent numbers one through four and 12 of accents five and six. That's why I wanted you to make sure you have those fabrics uh, laid out because you only have odd numbers. But on the main print, you're going to do all 20 of them. So there's going to be a lot of fun to have to play there. And I want you to have fun.